Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for part 17 of our War Tales playthrough. And we are on our way up to the secret camp that's up here after taking out one of these black caravans that apparently are smuggling gold to Lord Vanellis. So what we're going to be doing is going up here and seeing what we can do about this. Seeing what this task leads to. All the while we're using the experience to get everyone up to level 5 so that way we can take on the Tomb of the Ancients that we discovered. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough still. Uh, if you haven't already, leave a like on the video so that way YouTube will rec recommend it to more people. Now let's do this. Captain Hostess? Silly me, of course, Captain Hostess. Only you could hide amongst a group of mercenary, you old weasel. But your little charade ends here. Your grubby companions are no match for a professional army. Prepare to die. Oh god. All right, level four, we have Zealots, Fanatics, and Purifiers, as well as this Paladin, apparently. I think this is the first time I've even witnessed a Paladin in this game. Where are you? I need to look at you. Inquisitor Octavia. Hollowed Strike, deals 17 damage to all units in the area. If this hit attack hits several units, creates a fire under each of them. What the hell? That's amazing. Interesting. Okay. We are all sorts of separated, and I really don't like that. Let's get you over there. Hmm. Who has the curse? You do. It's so random. I guess we can just kind of fight out of there and then uh, get these guys going doing their thing here. What I'm most concerned about, though, is this spear right here. Let's go ahead and just get Regid doing his thing, shall we? Okay, one hit, one kill. Or, well, two hits, one kill, I guess. All right. Let's see. This person's going to go soon, so I think we need to uh, do something about this spear ASAP. No, 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 no. There we go. Let's just give you a weakening blow as well. Just make sure you're nice and weakened. Okay. Let's go ahead and take Hackerts. Let's just do that. So that way you'll finish that person off. And get up behind this guy and stab him after a little torch strike. Uh, I think we should get you in here as well. Let's just let's get the whole gang over here. Just just a big old party, you know? Let's right between the eyes, so that way you're definitely going to die here. Good job. Now, this guy has an axe, so we need to make sure that we separate, so that way we're not all getting hit simultaneously. All 
Alright, let's see. Hmm. Alright, Inquisitor Octavia is going to be going soon. We just basically need to make sure she doesn't hit multiple people. Let's just get you here. Ah, we need to move up a little closer too. Crit? Ah, not quite. Let's get you right here so that way Octavia goes for Sir Cesar Thude. No, you're going for Regid anyway? Damn. She has deflection up as well. Well, let's see. Right, here's the play. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, good stuff. Let's just finish it off then. I wasn't going to use the recoil shot here, but I figure we got that going on for us. May as well. Um, Hacker is in major, major trouble here. We're going to need to heal him. There you go, dude. I don't like you, Mr. Purifier, man. Do not like you. We're just going to do this as well. We just need to get that guy as weak as humanly possible. This is okay. That's okay. All right, you need to die immediately. How about a little redemption for you, buddy? Get that stab in, get the smoke screen in for the free attack. And you know what? Just kill him off. Good redeem. Good redeem. Now we need to keep you kind of towards the back line a little bit. We can move you up a little bit, I think, without much fear from these guys getting too close, right? They don't have any bows. No, you're good. You're good. Oh, dude, the fact this guy just keeps attacking is nuts. I hate it. But it's just fine. I'm actually going to do this. We're going to disengage. I'll take the free hit. It's only 10 damage. And then we're going to uh, lacerate right here. Beautiful. Looks good to me. I can't believe she's not using like her special ability. Okay, that pays for that completely and you're dead thanks for coming out ah uh, yes charging like a mad lad he 
You can't really reach from any of these spots. We'll just get you right here, I guess. You can't do much either. However, we can throw the right between the eyes at him. There you go. Give him the bleed. I think we just need to kill off the Inquisitor here. Excellent. Now we're gonna we're gonna kill them all off. Now's not the time for mercy. All right, you can't get close enough to attack him. Nor can you. You can get kind of close. There you go. Nicely done. Eye necklace. Got some nice heavy armor here. I don't know if it's an upgrade or not. I don't think so. But all the same, we could sell it. All right, Captain. The woman we fought was a fearsome Inquisitor called Octavia. I did not think I would ever see her again, but her presence here confirms one thing. The Inquisition is funding Vernalis. Or they used to, anyway. Now that we know who Vernalis' allies are, we can increase our presence at the border and keep a close eye on the churches and monasteries. As for the 300 crowns the Inquisitors were kind enough to leave us, I will take them to Count Lahartz. This seems fair compensation for all the suffering our army has had to endure. Here's your share. No mercenary has ever proved more worthy of their stipend. Oh, thanks, man. I commend you on your bravery and your devotion. It was an honor to fight beside you by your side, mercenaries. Okay, now we're 75% done with that. Let's take your, uh, your sword. Thanks. I wonder if her sword is always there or if it can drop her other stuff too. We got armor as well, but she also had like a special shield. I wonder. Okay, so I think that takes care of that. We should go take care of the deserters, maybe? But I need to see, how am I doing on repairs? We only have four left. We definitely need to recover that. That's That kind of leaves us in a pretty bad spot, actually. So the town is down here in Korsha. We can also hit Count Lahart's castle. Let's go ahead and do that. That's our objective here. Now that we took care of all that, that was quite the fight. We It wasn't really close. We were able to, you know, maintain most of it, but Hacker almost died there. And without stuff to actually keep everyone repaired and healthy, then it's just too much of a risk to just run around without that stuff. So that's our next objective here. But thank you again, guys, for tuning in and hanging out with me. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like in the video if you've made it to this point. Why not, you know? If you're here at this point. <laughs> anyway, when you do so, it helps It helps you to put the video in front of more new eyeballs for us. And I really appreciate your support. Oh, we should make some food. Uralai's feats have earned her the nickname Uralai the Deft. She earns an aptitude point. Damn. Uralai's over here cooking her freaking hands off over here. I love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. She wants movement of all things, though. All right. Movement's yours. The movement is yours. With that said... There you go. All right, they're making a little bit of progress. Getting from level four to five does take some, take some time.
I feel that this area here, the Korsha area, is the most spaced out. It's just you're so far away from uh, the towns so often. I feel like the other areas I was able to get back to the towns a lot faster. That's okay, though. Hopefully they'll have a lot of what we need here now. There you go. Vaults, troops. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to you. Inventory is an absolute mess. A prayer book. I think we're good. Sell some of that sandstone. I should see. Is there anything here that requires sandstone to craft? Not that I can see. How about here? No. Just trying to figure out what the heck I would need sandstone for, but... Nothing seemingly shows for it. There's got to be something, though. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a material in the game. Just don't quite know. If anyone does know, if you're watching the video and you do know what it's for, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Let me know. I'm curious. I don't want to sell it all off in case it pops up at some point, but it also takes up a lot of, uh, a lot of inventory space. Let's go to the market. Yeah, we're over 3,000 crowns now, too. Buy all your salts. We're going to need to buy all your pork as well. Yeah. I still need more infected blood. Maybe the apothecary will have some. No. Back up to seven medicine. We also need some of these materials here. up to 24 we went out with 30 earlier okay with that said vault troops are right here we can do that on the way back down this way i need these deserters taken care of so we're gonna go take care of the deserters and then we're gonna head back towards the castle there also, you see if we can find some wheat for that trough. I know I haven't done it as well, but I wonder how effective the fishing is for keeping food supplies up. I'm not sure if we actually need any bait or anything like that. Let's talk to these guys real quick. They probably just have plague stuff. Damage result to plague units increased by 10%. Let's go ahead and buy that. Thanks, dude. It looks like we need more plague, uh, infected blood to make that five for that. That's wild. The only way to really get infected blood on the regular is by fighting plague rats. And I really don't want to do that. Okay, so this is where we actually got the quest earlier. Um, maybe we completed it and we just have to, like, turn it in, maybe? 
In the name of the general and the legion, here's your bounty. You have completed this mission impeccably. Okay, nice. Unlock the title, nothing. Sweet. Look at that, guys. I am just, I have the title, nothing. Sick. <laughs> Are you guys on a break? There you go. Back to fighting you go. Okay. Uh, I've not been to the reed farm yet. I walked by it, but I never actually went there. So let's do that while we're here. Uh, Count Lahar has requested your presence in his castle. Yes. Okay. Trimic. It's my cellar and I'll do whatever I want with it. If I want a packet full of plague-ridden wretches, that's my business. Damn it, they are my neighbors, my friends. You think they weren't here for me during the war? You think I'm going to stand idly by while my wife is killing them? If you really want to make me my selfish wife happy, give me some food so they don't go mad, or timber, so that we can reinforce the cellar door. Convince the man to let you kill the plague-ridden people. If they're plague-ridden, they should probably be killed. That's just dangerous. Fine, take this key and go slaughter my friends. My wife will be ever so pleased. Well, I mean, come on, dude. Can't live like this any longer. I keep jumping in fear at all hours, thinking that these monsters have escaped from the cellar. You have, n you have to reason with my husband. He will just not listen to me. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. There's the cellar over there. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else. Okay. Let's make a save because plague. Let's see how this goes. Okay. We are so hungry. 10 plague ridden people. Okay. This could get ugly. This might not be great. Where is Regit? All by himself over here. That's not good. That fire damage taken increased by 50%, huh? We should swap sides. There we go. Regit might be able to clean up a couple of these guys. Guarantee one, but not sure about two. Okay, yeah, we definitely got two. Poison? Stop it! They just release poison like crazy, I guess. That was awesome. That was awesome. I had not seen that animation yet before. All, oftentimes when I get those animations, it's just the, uh, it's just the, uh, the, the bows, the archers. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Forgive me. It's almost 4 a.m. I couldn't think of the word archer. <laughs> Oh, look at those feet go. Oh, I should have moved you over here or something.
big thing here is just trying not to let any of these guys actually hit me. But I don't think that's possible. We have a bit of a choke point here, so this is actually kind of nice. like a freaking land island in the middle of everything here. Just all sorts of in the way. That's right. These guys are about to have some weird pathing as well. So it's, it's okay. That's fine. We'll leave you here. Ah, don't know. Not you. The poison alone is going to kill you, man. about to be a little odd. All right. We're going to take you all the way around. Probably won't even get over there in time, but we'll see what happens. Things are about to get wild here. Oh, what the... All right, it does more damage when it stacks up. This is about to get really, really bad, I think. But we can clear these guys out, so. Just make it so they don't even get a turn.
This guy's gonna hit me. We'll see how this goes. All right, there's the fever. Oh, dang. No, we need to finish them off. <laughs> Last thing I need is them to like, one runs away and just spreads the plague. Nice. Okay, that's great news because now we can just kind of clean all this up. Oh, we get infected blood as well. That's good. That's actually awesome. Good stuff. You should be ashamed of yourselves, my poor neighbors. I'm so relieved you killed these monsters. Thank you. Let me pour you a drink. I was saving this for a special occasion. All right, Edder and wine. Thank you. Uh, I can't go in your basement. All right, dude. All right, man. So we gotten some infected blood. That's kind of good because now we can craft some of these uh, poison knives. Do we do that here? We don't do that here. We do that at an actual forge. No, uh, we have to camp, so let's do that. I want to see if there's anything up this way as well before we kind of leave this spot. We have something here. That's some iron. All right, this goes full circle that way. We're at the end of the uh, playable area, it looks like, so we're not going to really find much over there. Looks like it might be the case the whole way down, so I guess we just kind of carry on. I gotta figure out if I can get some type of uh, ability that allows me to stack poison like those uh, plague guys can to really make use of venom because it's only 15% per poison stack and using the throwing knife itself uses uh, valor points so we would end up using a lot of valor points just to get one good attack off and that just doesn't feel very good. Let's go take care of Vault's troops. And then we can go to the castle. Mm, I didn't see if there's anything down that way yet either. Still need some wheat before we go back that direction though. See if you have any more material here. It's like a slow regen. Let's see about crafting this poison throwing knife. Where is it? It's not here. Is it actually in camp and I'm just an idiot? No. Is it an apothecary thing? It is. It's an apothecary thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we have a poison throwing knife. Now, this is something that can go really well with Venom. Now, like I said earlier, the way Venom works is 
It deals 6% dexterity damage to the target, and then consumes all poisons applied to increase damage by 15% per application. The issue that I have with this is... It's like, the damage itself is not very high. Like let's go look at uh, Hackert, for example. This does 26 to 33. This would only do 19. And then the, the damage increased by 15% per application. So that's only a couple points per per stack. So it's a, it's a really great combo if you can really build it up. If you can find some way to really spread poison around. Uh, maybe there's some other abilities that... Like a poisoner. That, that, that's, that's what I need to do right there. Poisoner. Is there some way I can re-specialize? I need to think. There might be some way I can re-specialize. I just can't remember where I saw it. Well, anyway, if you if you uh, happen to know where I can like reset my specializations, do let me know. I, I, I'm legitimate, legitimately curious. I would love to do that for this. I would love to do that. Oh, this guy's got a rusty two-handed hammer right out the gate. Look at you. I think I remember seeing something for it somewhere, but I can't remember. I could be completely off base, though. Anyway, let's go south. I totally forgot about that poisoner capability. Now it makes so much more sense. That would be huge to have. All right, we need to go right over here. Hmm. Not sure why I'm not able to ambush anymore. All right, Vault the Fox. Let's do this. Right, that guy has fragility. A weird split again, though. We need to get that person, like, as far in the back as we can. I think we just kind of work here, and then these guys this way. Let's do this. Ah, oh, one health. Still a good go. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's move you over here. Not going to waste a point on the spear wall this turn. Damn it. 
Damn, good hit. And he's bleeding. Heck yeah. I'm just going to kill him off. Good crits, good crits. All right, Silence and a little bit of danger here. Uh, by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. I'll say, don't you dare. Right on. This one's a bit of a not so great fight for me. Well, let's not use that. No. Nope. Uh, I didn't want to do that. But oh well. Free up that. I guess we just hold the ground there. Unfortunately, Cesar threw is a little bit too far away from a lot of this action to really be of any difference right now. And that needs to change immediately. We're going to get you on this side and get a slash in. Uh, yeah, we're just going to finish this guy off. Just get him out of the way. Everyone can else move up over here to fight these guys. Because it's about to get real thick over here. to get in here. Regit really can't. Not right away. I guess Tryrill can, though. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. That made things a lot better for us. The fact that he just hit that crit is just stellar. You do not do much damage, my friend, with that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I don't want you in the mix. I can't believe you're even in my party still. What is this? Alright, this should kill the guy. 
Now that one shot kill really changed things. Put her in harm's way so that way this guy will probably move up right here and hit her but these people over here will have to move directly this way so this is fine um i don't want to put you in danger you're already too low health let's just get you back there that's good stuff All right, we can't do much with you, but we can put you in the way of her, so she takes a little bit of time to get in there if she needs to. Really unfortunate that I can't get you in there, despite how hard you hit. My mistake was moving her back a little bit after getting a successful attack off. I mean... Pain, you know? All right, Vault the Fox is going to be having some attacks come up here. Let's get Sessor Thude on it. There, now that guy's not having any attacks come up. Yeah. We like it. We like it a lot. No, let's uh, not do that anything with you. Let's just get hackered here. Got the surround bonus as well, so. That got a little weird for a minute, but came out okay. These guys are uh, insanely strong. Death can happen at any time for any of our group at this point. Simply for being nearby. There we go. No wages to pay this go, but it's a okay. All right, everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and save here. Okay, guys, you know the drill. If you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do so, so that way YouTube will recommend the video to more folks. I really appreciate it. Thank you for continuing to watch this War Tales playthrough. It's been a really good time. Sell the Great Axe. Sell that. I need to figure out how I can re-specialize if possible. Alright, let's get to the castle side. Let's talk to you. Ah, my heroes, my most precious allies, my devoted mercenaries. My officers speak very highly of you. They have been tremendously impressed with the missions you have accomplished on our behalf. I have therefore decided to entrust you with a very special task, as a thanks. Would you lay siege to Vernalis with me? Yup. Okay, um, he just, yeah, yep, yeah, he's just there. All right, sick.
until the last drop okay so we'll take care of that a little bit later for now we have some other things that need doing like leveling up our characters to level five uh we need some wheat first and foremost i'm able to buy wheat in korsha so maybe let's go check that out oh the mill's right here too we could probably just steal some you know what i mean you want to steal a little wheat guys steal a little wheat Hey, uh, I'm taking that. Thanks. Thanks. Now we need to make it over to this estuary fishery. So they said meant something about the, the black steed with all this. So this could get a little bit crazy as well. Let's see what happens. Let's make a solid save again. We have the wheat that we need for this. I don't know if this is the black seed. They just said something about a fishery and the steed. And then I just see this trough here. So let's use the wheat. A few handfuls of oat in the trough. Okay. Trough is empty. What? Well, that didn't really do anything. I wonder if there's more wheat at the mill. <laughs> That just kind of didn't work. I don't know if that's a matter of it just needs more overall or what. Hey. Taking this. Thank you. Thank you for the wheat. She'll never even notice. It's fine. What's a little wheat between friends? All right, we save again. Okay, inspect. The trough is empty. Throw in some wheat. Okay. Two handfuls of wheat in the trough. Leaf. Exit. Nothing happened. It's empty. I don't understand. It's taking my wheat. Yeah, it's taking the wheat, but it's not doing anything. Maybe I have to do it at a certain time of day? I don't know. All right, well. Maybe there's another one of these things. Maybe I'm at the wrong fishery. I don't know. Let's go check out this uh, shabby camp again. Or the water line by the shabby camp. This way. No, nothing's here. This just goes off to the edge of the map where there's nothing. Just like down there. Yeah. I do not know. Well, I guess for now, we just kind of go back to Korsha. See what kind of tasks are there so we can accept them, get some more crowns flowing. Pretty much just wasted a whole day doing nothing, unfortunately, but that's okay. We have so much influence. Citus's troops to the south. We also see about Kagal, Kagal, the ghost of Harag, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, well, let me try to renegotiate. You only get one attempt at the negotiate. Okay. Let's take that. Let's, uh... Wait until we actually get everyone level 5 and all geared up before we do attempt that, but... Let's take it anyway. For now. And then... That's back in Strom Cap. Three pelts. Let's see. We have these bandit camps here. And the people here that say we are not monsters. There's also the matter of the mercenary's treasure and the inquisitor's rendezvous point as well. We never did find this. Maybe we search around for this. We need a mountain near some trees. Let's see if we can just find it. Let's just look around for a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to be this way. A mountain near some trees and a waterfront. This it? No, not nearly the trees we need. It's also near a path. Hmm. Could be over there, maybe? These are our guys that we need to fight right here. Level five. Perpetual footsteps in the background. There we go. Ah, uh, it's all misty over there. Don't like that. Misty over here as well. Do not like. Always weird when it's like right in the middle of everything too. But, we can make it work. Damn, dude. Damn, man. Stabilized. This just seems like a perfect opportunity for a little bit of a uh, double slicey action here. Oh, heck yeah. Love to see it. Good damage. Let's just get a head start on that and just push him back a little bit. All 
All right, I just show the arrow coming from over here. I think it's somewhere in the mist, though. Let's just get a hacker on the deal here. What the? Never mind. Let's get Eurygnia on the deal. Move you over a little bit. Shoot you. Also great damage. We're galvanized already. Let's go ahead and move you up a little bit more out of the way. This guy doesn't realize it, but he just gave himself the surround. And there's you. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. There you are, Lucidus. There you are. Oh, that's not good for Sly. But it's going to be okay. <laughs> that noise. Yup. That wasn't so bad at all. Precious Gambeson of the Guard. Armor 45, Guard 16, huh? Armor 45, guard 16. Is that heavy? It's medium. Oh, that's the same one that Cessarthude has. Okay, who else uses medium armor? You have heavy. I think these guys are all lights, right? You have medium. Uh, critical hit. Uh, that's fine. We can trade this out. That's fine with me. A little bit more guard, a little bit more armor. That's a good trade. That's very, very nice. All right, let's make a save. We have that. Let's go ahead and, uh... Go this way, I guess. Maybe search the water line down this way. Just curious to see what this stuff is. This Inquisitor map. It's not here either. Nope, wrong person. Okay. Where is there more water? Over that way? Let's go look all the way over there. I know we're going in circles here like crazy, but I'm just very curious as to where this might be. Here's a bunch of boar. Ah, they want to fight. Okay. Distract with 13, <laughs> 13 wolf sausages? No, we're going to fight you. I'm not going to give you my food when you can be food yourself. We did, we're doing a lot of gathering of stuff right now and getting ourselves together as far as trying to find these little secrets. Don't like you guys being over there by yourselves against all those boar. No, there's only three, I guess. 
Move you to the back. Not enough space to move any closer, unfortunately. But I'm gonna move you back in hopes that they go for your ally. Damn. Oh, I didn't even see those guys over there. Uh, don't die. It's just wrath. <laughs> There's so many boars so far away over here. Well, that boar found a trap. We're going to move you over this way to help support on these two. Ooh, that's what I feared. you over here there's more boar incoming has less than half their health left use chains rope to capture them place one of your units yeah i don't already know how to do that i don't really care to capture a boar i mean i guess we can use them in like as part of our crew but i don't have any like any uh beast mastery or anything like that so feels kind of pointless right now Okay. Letting the archers kind of 
poke him down a little bit. The way these guys are pathing, they're definitely going to have a little bit of difficulty getting close to me for a minute. Just go over here and stab this guy and back off. Ah, uh, don't go that way, man. All right, just because that one's going this way, we're going to send you over here. Because otherwise, she's going to be weird about it. Yeah. Okay, Ragit. Okay, buddy. I thought it was, uh, the second one was going to turn down to the south side as well. It was going to be a little sad. Well, hold on, hold on. Oh, we can't reach the other one. Never mind. Let's say if Reggie could reach this back one, we could just send him to it, but he cannot. Oh, now we can. I don't think this is going to kill him, though. If we get a crit, maybe? No, no crit. But we have a wrath. So it worked out at the end of the day. Need to get ahead of Florangi. Florangi. Alright, he's gonna go up for Regit. That's fine. Regit can take him out in a single go. In case Regit wants a little emotional support. He really does fit the role of Berserker really well. He can move pretty far. He just takes out so many enemies really quickly. He takes the definition of Berserker to the heart, and I love that about him. All right, GG. Just in time for camp. All right, we got a whole bunch of new pork. Love to see it. There we go. Just the one. Just the one raw pork. It's fine. Oh, there's another town over here. Oh, Maze Farm, huh? Let's see what Maze Farm has going on. Oh, no, you don't. We got here first. This is our loot. We can attack them. We can threaten them or leave. We're just going to threaten. Only for 35, and we have 744, so... Fine, fine. We'll share. No need for insults. Gain work manual, five wheat, and honey. Take this. It's half of what we got. Here's hoping we never meet again. Okay. You forgot the wood. Dummy. It's my wood now. Alright, let's go this way. Whoa, 
what do we have out here? We hear seagulls. Outside of that, we got a whole lot of nothing. Tracker's camp. Nice. You wish to join the hunt? You're free to do so, but I must warn you, we hunt the Phantom Swarm, and this quarry is nothing like ordinary game. These monsters only appear under the cover of darkness, darkness and wreak havoc wherever they go. It's a harrowing fight, which has taken many an excellent tracker. If you're still determined to partake in the hunt, we, I can give you this map. It shows you where the tracks begin. Okay. Arthesian Hunt. Thank you kindly. Let's talk to you. All right, Tanning Rack. All right, how many uh, teeth do we have? 446. Tanning Rack costs 200. Animal Essence Oil. Damage inflict the animals increases by 10%. Warriors Reinforced Layer. Ooh, yes. And Bard's Reinforced Layer. We're taking those. We need the Reinforced Layers. And then I guess we'll take the Tanning Rack? I suppose? Not sure what the Tanning Rack does for us, but let's figure it out. I'm sure it goes here. No? Oh, we need to actually use it first. Strength plus two on these, and then Bard does critical hit plus three. Nice. Animal carcasses can be laid out during rest to produce leather. So we don't necessarily need that, but just because we do get a lot of nether, uh, nether, a lot of leather naturally just by playing the game and just beating everything up. I've had zero issues with that outside of uh, like the white leather. So I am really, really not concerned about that at all. It's a nice find, but that's not really something that is of urgency at all. So we're just going to kind of let that go. All right, this is not what I'm looking for out here. I guess we just kind of check that line down there. We have to go all the way around, though. And, of course, there's bandits. There's always bandits. And Korsh is right here. Let's take a quick break. All right, nothing else here for now. That's fine. Don't think we need anything from you. We already found everything naturally. I think I just need to buy salt, right? Yeah, I've only got one salt left. How many beans do I have? 11? All right, you have 20, not for sale. How about you? Is yours on sale? No? All right. Got a lot of wood and iron. We're going to need some of it for crafting pretty soon, though, so we're not going to, like, get rid of it right now.
All right, let's see about going to the west now. Just trying to see if we can spot somewhere along water, uh, mountains, very thick amount of trees. And to find this uh, Inquisitor's Rendezvous point. Just haven't stumbled across what that spot looks like yet. Nope, oh, someone's dead out here. Someone was attacked in a field near St. Elior Abbey. The Phantom Swarm then fled in an unknown direction. We might have to wait for nightfall. So that's what that is. I'm pretty sure and this is the field near the Abbey. So that's what that is. Let's not let's, let's not use that yet. I don't want to fight a Phantom Swarm at this point in time. Here's a fishing spot. I'm pretty sure we checked this spot actually earlier in the game. Or not earlier in the game, but in an earlier video. All right, this is the end of the world for us. Unfortunate, man. Just can't find this spot that we've been looking for. We've got to come across it eventually, right? There's only so much water in the game. Maybe it's up that way. This is going to lead up around the back side here. Let's take a look at this map again. Ha a bunch of trees here, some fields, this mountain, the waterfront. There's only so many places that can really be, right? It's not going to be up there. There's no fields up that way. I'm going to go ahead and check up this uh, water line here. If that doesn't do it for us, then, you know, it is what it is. We're, you know, we're searching. We'll figure it out eventually. There's only so much of the map. We might not actually be able to check this too much this way. Yeah. There's no fields up this way. Just the ruins. So that does no good for us. Time to camp again. We're speed running camping sessions. And these guys are getting close to level five as well. Well. 
more so uh, Kath than Silo, but I think a lot of this the training dummy. To be fair. Oh, shoot. I don't want to fight you. Not in the mood for any damn phantoms. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We could check this side, but I don't know if there's much fields over there or how far up we can go on this water line. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. It's okay. Like I said, there's only so much space in the map, so it's bound to be found eventually. A lot of trees here with a path, but no mountain. I think this path ends because of this cliff here as well. Yeah. It sure does. This is also where we checked to see if we could find uh, the other secret spot with all the snow. It didn't look like it added up to be this either. But we didn't check up this way, so let's check up this way while we're here. Why not? We do not need to carry any more iron ore. We're doing A-OK -okay there. Another rat nest. Let's look at this, uh, this other map. Mercenary treasure. See water here. A lot of trees, and it's just on this little little spot between peaks. And that looks like it's the end of the world for us. Yep. That's it. We need to camp. I don't want to camp right next to this nest. <laughs> nope. No, thank you. All right, now we can camp. We've gone through food like crazy doing this, but that's okay. We've eliminated pretty much everywhere uh, that we've been as far as where this treasure could be. That doesn't make sense, though. Maybe we can get up here. Maybe over here. Or maybe the treasure's behind, uh, Kagal. Kagal. The zoo sees a lot of water up here as well. The water here. Water here. We know it's in the mountains and that there's water nearby. As you can see. 
in the mountains with water nearby. So it's got to be along those lines. But that's okay. Uh, we'll figure this out very, very soon. There's only so many places left we can realistically check. What are you doing? Okay, I guess we're doing this fight real quick. Okay. Oh, it's the lieutenant. I got you. Is poisoning wells a joke to you? You're going to regret this. Okay, well, I guess we're going at it. Wasn't real. I totally forgot about them, and I thought they were occupied with the uh, the whole uh, siege. You know, seemed like a good time to be busy. I think it's about as close as you can get right there, right? Ugh, this is not going to be great, but... That little moan. Might be able to get a big attack for free right here, yeah. Very nice. See you later, boss. It's been fun. This is great because now that we don't have any enemies here, we can just focus on everything to the east. I'm gonna weaken because they are up next to attack, so may as well. <laughs> All three damage. Excellent news. Uh, we can't get you close enough to attack. So let's get you in there. Eh. Well, you know, let's just do it. It's fine. Sapper. The good news is Tryroll doesn't have to move, so bad news is this sapper is gonna be a pain in the ass. Excellent. That'll teach ya. That attack is so strange. Ah, the attack of opportunity off the sapper. Okay, okay. I can't get you close enough to attack at all right now, but let's move you over here, abouts. Yeah.
right in my way. Who is this? That guy over there? Well, if that's the case, then we should probably just attack you with this guy first. Yeah, that worked. is not great for science we're gonna move you here and see if this attack works i don't think it will not the normal way oh it does that's pretty obscure glad it worked out we are stuck here we can do a swing like this. And then move over here. And hope that it works out. Good. Good, good, good. And we're galvanized. Oh, just the one swing, please. One heck of a broad range, buddy. There's no way we thread this, right? I mean, there's no way, right? Right? Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> Sorry, says it, dude. Go on and get. Go on and get. One heck of an ambush there, dude. Well done. Also, why are you over here? Like, they. When I poisoned the well, we were over here. The spring origin right here. They charged all the way out here for me? That's weird. That's a little odd. I have not talked to a merchant in a minute. Let's see what you have. I'll take those all right guys this is an excellent spot to leave off finished off with that little battle there when i do come back on the next video we are going to be able to probably hit level five with at least one of the characters and get that going um hold on here's some water this ain't gonna be it right no, this ain't going to be it. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave off here. When I do come back, I do believe one of our people are going to be level 5. Kath here we will be able to definitely get it on the next video. Looking forward to that. After that happens, we'll go ahead and get Silo on the training dummy so that way they can catch up as well. Um, if things keep going really well and we're able to really stay ahead of our, our food supply and everything, then I might just hire another assassin and level them up as well. So that way we can make use of the... Uh, the Viper and Poison Throwing Knife combo as a Poisoner, specifically. So that's something that we may do if I can't figure out how to respec, but it might just be worth not even respecing and making another uh, another uh, mercenary join our gang anyway. 
But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, watching this series of the War Tales game. It's been really great. It's only an early access, and it makes me really excited for the full game whenever it does happen. And it looks like they're adding more to the game as time goes on. I mean, just in the last few videos, there was a patch, and we are, you know, the whole happiness change. They remodeled some of the areas in Korsha, for example, and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here for now. I'll see you soon for more. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.